ramen, noodle, lasagna. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're making ramen lasagna. So this is something I saw on TikTok and it's become a little bit of a trend and I figured let's try this. Uh, I come from an Italian background. My nonna makes fresh lasagna. So this is something that she would never try and she'd probably hate knowing that I'm using ramen noodles. Um, but nonetheless, this is four ingredients, super easy to make from what I saw, and this is my first try at uh, making it, and we're gonna see how well it comes out and how well it tastes. So ramen noodles, sauce, ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, mix them all together, lasagna, let's do it. We have our casserole dish here, and we're gonna start off with some Classico Bolognese sauce. So this was just tomato sauce with some uh, meat inside. And according to the jar, it says beef and pork. So uh, we're gonna just open this up like so. And we're gonna start off by spooning a little bit on the base. And we're just gonna spread this around. So we have our ramen noodles. We have our packets here. We don't need these packets. You can throw them away. So we're gonna try to split this so we can get a base layer and you know when you watch something online and it looks easier than what it is? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna, it's okay, it's still good, it's still usable. And there you go. So we're just gonna line the bottom uh, with our ramen noodles and we're gonna wanna keep this as flat as possible. So you can see it is still working out well. Uh, there's our bottom. I'm gonna open up another packet and fill in the last little hole, so. So my years of playing Tetris are paying off here uh, because I feel like that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to like fit the ramen noodles in the base where I cover most of it, but don't worry if you don't. Uh, you can see I have a little bit of gaps here and there, but it should still come out good. Then we're gonna take ricotta cheese and we're gonna put a spoon here, one here, one here, and we're gonna end up spreading this around anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. You can't go wrong, ricotta cheese is good. So, just spread your ricotta cheese around. We have freshly grated mozzarella cheese. We're gonna add a layer of that. So now we're gonna repeat this same exact process, the same exact step. So it's meat sauce, noodles, Ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese. So let's do it. We're gonna add more sauce this time around because this is like the middle. And then we're gonna spread it around. So we're just gonna fast forward through this, but basically I'm just doing ramen noodles again, uh, then ricotta, then mozzarella. So uh, let's do it. Do you wanna end off your last layer with your sauce and you just wanna spread it around? And our lasagna is looking good. Now I'm gonna finish this off with some Parmesan cheese. Our lasagna is ready to be placed in the oven, but you can see how good it looks. Uh, if I didn't tell you it was ramen noodles, I don't know if you can tell. Well, I guess maybe, but the, the side layers look really good. So there's that. So in the oven it goes. Ramen noodle lasagna. Look at the layers on the side. All right, so our lasagna is done. And some ramen noodle lasagna, okay? Look how good that looks. Cut myself a little piece here. And you can see the ricotta, the noodles, it's all together, the sauce. Wow, none that would be happy with how this tastes. The sauce isn't bad. I mean, homemade tomato sauce is obviously better. Um, the ricotta and the noodles taste really good though. Uh, considering this is a ramen lasagna, it is really impressive and it's so easy to make. As you guys saw, it's you're literally just taking ramen noodles, ricotta cheese, mozzarella, you're just layering it, throw in the oven and lasagna. Hmm. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, make sure to uh, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Is this something you would try? 
Uh, leave a like on the video and subscribe for more food videos.